everybody. Welcome to episode 21 of Crack TV, where sophisticated women always insist on Michael. With me, as always, is my co-host, Clips of Slowed Down, High-Pitched Gilbert Gottfried. How you doing, Clippy? <laughs> it's like listening to the ocean. According to the dire warnings in Roland Emmerich's latest opus, Shit Got Blowed Up, today's topic is... The seven most extreme forms of Simpsons fandom. Calling yourself a Simpsons fan is like saying you like the Beatles or enjoy capturing and castrating neighborhood strays. You're not impressing anyone. They've been inscribed on ancient hillsides, sculpted in sand, and wrapped around a jet. And as the seasons go by, Simpsons fans have had to resort to more and more extreme measures to show their love. Their obsessive, smothering love. A true Simpsons fan has to really get the show in a way you will never understand. Traditionally, this state of oneness with a program is attained through meditation on and painstaking recreation of the show's intro sequence. The Nothing says devotion like recreation in Lego. Ain't that right, big guy? Careful if you got kids under three, that crown of thorns is a real choking hazard. Of course, a true fan wouldn't settle for just recreating the intro sequence. Not if your blood runs yellow, damn it. Finally. Video game technology has at last progressed to the point where I can trade in my own boring life for that of a lower middle class white family. Thanks to this phenomenally accurate Quake 3 mod, you're now free to visit all of your favorite Simpsons locations and shoot at them with lasers. If that doesn't slake your thirst for combining comedy and violence, try using Homer to beat the shit out of a young Asian girl in Mujin, the ultimate customizable fighting game. Thanks to Mujin, you can pit Homer against almost anyone imaginable. You saw Diddly Yuck! Ooh, Homer. Too soon, man. The only character that can ever beat him is Peter Griffin, but that's just because he keeps flashing back to unrelated events until everyone forgets what game they're playing. And then Spore Homer comes along, and they both choke to death on their own terror vomit. If you're not tech-savvy, don't worry. There's still a wide range of ways to stick Simpsons characters where they don't belong. You like anime? Simpsonize it. A manga fan? Throw a little Simpson on there. Do you enjoy Japanese-style anime-manga? Why not add a dash of Simpson? I'll tell you why. Because it doesn't make any sense. All right, if you're going to pervert America's favorite family, let's see some realistic depictions at least. Oh God, I was wrong. Never do that again. That was the most disturbing piece of Simpsons-related artwork I will have ever seen up until I show you this picture that I'm going to show you right now. Ah, she's a child, for God's sake. How about a little decency, Internet? Or Homer fucking a cat. Either's good, really. What better way to show your loyalty to a beloved comedy show than by throwing money at it? I know it always impresses me. Glenn Williams has spent hundreds of thousands of dollars amassing 30,000 Simpsons items, or one for every character in the series. His wife collects teddy bears, mainly as a food source for his vast army of Wiggums. Williams says he wasn't even a huge fan of the show when he started collecting. I'd hate to see what he did when he was a huge fan of something. Glenn hopes to turn his Simpsons collection into a museum, so that his life may serve as a warning to others. So you say you love The Simpsons so much you want to be The Simpsons? Well, catfucker, you're not alone. Every day, seemingly normal people twist themselves into grotesque mockeries of the human form. Eyes cracked and popping, skin jaundiced and lumpy, bodies shapeless, sexless, and will you stop it with the porn already? This couple even got married dressed as Homer and Marge. Of course, they arrived at the wedding in a cement mixer, and their guests were dressed as princesses, nuns, and cowboys, so there's a good chance they're escaped mental patients. But as my heroin dealer taught me, the only way to really prove you love something is by stabbing that thing into yourself. Whether it's an obscure reference, meta-stupidity, or simple child abuse, injecting The Simpsons into your skin will surely... Okay, you know what? Everyone just wants to bone The Simpsons? Is that what the internet's done to our childhood? Fine. You know what, assholes? You brought this on yourself. That's right. Soak it up. Feel your brain tumoring itself. March. 
You're breaking my heart. The Bart the General series of videos could almost be described as Lynchian, if Lynch were considerably scarier. Here's a tip. If your Simpsons tribute has a Harlequin baby in the related video section, you've officially taken a few steps towards terrifying. Just try and laugh at another rerun after watching Homer take a brick to the mouth and morph into a blubbering Mickey Rooney. According to the creator's bafflingly generic home site, his name is either Famicon or Gehexic2. The only clickable link takes you to a gallery of the animated equivalent of waterboarding in front of a tiled picture of Yosemite Falls. Gehexic2 may not be the hero we need, but he's the one we deserve. Woohoo! Well, that does it for this episode. What do you say, Clippy? Are you a true Simpsons fan or what? <laughs> Why did you stop singing? Honestly, I don't understand it. Remember, if you want to help me pick my next topic, just fill out the topic suggestion card that came in the latest issue of Swain Magazine. It's on page 32, right after the Mike's Fallware photo spread. I've been your host, Droid Michael Swain. Allow me to play you out. Out of my way, jerkhead! Oh!